Hey, Black Rock Church, Pastor Josh here with another update about our live services that are starting Sunday, March 14th. Now, we've been having really powerful in-person services for about four months now, but the music and preaching were pre-recorded. This allowed us the maximum amount of people to, who could attend. It also allowed us to facilitate live stream together groups that met outside the church. Uh, but now that Governor, Governor Lamont got rid of the 100-person limit on church gatherings, we're excited to be going fully live with our services on Sunday, March 14th. Now, the safety measures that we have been successfully using will still be in place. Everyone will wear a mask when they're in the building. Hand sanitizer is available when you arrive. We have digital bulletins. Cafe is not open. And we sanitize the building between services. You don't need a reservation to come on that Sunday. You can come to any of our regular three Sunday morning services. Now, for seating in the worship center, where I am here, we've blocked off every other row, as you can see. And when you enter the worship center, the ushers will help you find seats. And we're going to ask households to sit three seats apart from each other. So leave three seats between you and the next group. Now, for those of you who are going to continue on watching online, you'll get to watch the service live on our website or Facebook or YouTube at 8.30, 10, or 11.30, or you can watch the service anytime after it is over. The one difference is that our pre-recorded services had been available anytime Sunday morning, and now they're only available when it's live or after the service is over. So if you're one of those people that got up at 5 a.m. to watch our service, now you can sleep in and watch the service live. We're also excited to be reopening kids' ministry at the 10 and 11.30 a.m. services for kids ages 2 through 5th grade. And we have a lot of great online kids' ministry that's going to keep going, but it'll be wonderful to have in-person kids' ministry for the first time in a year. We've reconfigured our kids' spaces to help kids socially distance, and there's a whole separate video for parents that outlines what kids' ministry will look like. So go to brc.church slash live kids to check out that video and to register your kids. Now, for those of you planning to attend on March 14th, remember... That's the night we change our clocks. So don't forget to spring forward so you get to church on time. The other thing we really need is volunteers to help us run these live services and live kids ministry. So now is a great time to jump back into serving or sign up to serve for the first time. People need to encounter Jesus now more than ever. And you can play an important role in helping make that happen. This past week, I actually hosted our in-person services, and a, and a woman came up to me after the service. And she hadn't been to in-person church for a long time. And she was in tears because she was overwhelmed by God's power that she experienced by worshiping together. We're excited to be going to fully live services, and we're committed to, to doing it as safely as possible. So if you have any questions or you want to sign up to volunteer, go to brc.church. Uh, click on the live worship section and you can get more information and sign up. Now, whether you're worshiping God online or in person, we are so happy to be worshiping a God who loves us and is with us every day.